All right, I'll be 100% honest with you. At this point of the Royal Rumble here tonight, there hasn't been a good match since the opener. I didn't really like the tag match. I didn't really like the United States title match. And the Divas match just came out here, and it was a snore. Of course, it was Charlotte going up against Becky Lynch. Uh, the story of the, the whole match was basically that Charlotte is now a full-blown heel and that uh, Charlotte is the new dirtiest player of the game. With Ric Flair um, on the outside, uh, basically, you know, there was nothing uh, that they wouldn't do uh, to try and gain an advantage of this. They really tried to portray Becky Lynch as the ultimate underdog uh, coming into this match. And uh, basically, uh, oh my god, Sasha Banks just came out. Are we going to do Sasha versus Charlotte? Oh, this is going to be good uh, right here. All right, looks like we're going to get a stare down, and maybe Sasha Banks is finally getting the push that we've seen that she deserves in the WWE for a long time. Uh, but basically, we saw Becky having an advantage in this match, and then when she gets to the outside where she's beating on Charlotte, Ric Flair lean in and plant a big old smooch on her. Uh, he, I guess he couldn't hit her, he couldn't touch her in any, in any way, so this is just one way to get her uh, advantage of this, and Charlotte was able to capitalize and throw uh, Becky back into the ring, uh, where, Becky, uh, or I'm sorry, where, <laughs> where Becky would try to get back in the ring herself, and Charlotte would go for the, uh, the low blow um, to the gut, uh, one thing that was going on during this match a lot was that basically um, Becky Lynch was having a lot of problems with her boots. Uh, there was a, there was a lot of flair on these things, a lot of buckles, a lot of strings, a lot of this, that, uh, and the other, um, and, uh, and, and they just kept on like you know basically coming off, and she had to basically stop the match and be able to. Uh, do what she was doing. You know, at one point in the match, Becky finally locked in uh, the arm bar uh, where Ric Flair jumped up on the ring and, and he threw his jacket onto uh, Becky Lynch. Uh, and that was the disqualification that was needed uh, for Charlotte uh, to reclaim her championship. But I guess the story of the night is basically that uh, Sasha Banks is looking... Is, maybe Sasha Banks is joining up with Charlotte. I can't tell. It looks like she's sort of joining up with her. I thought she was coming out to challenge her for a match. Ric Flair's giving her the woo. I think we're going to have to see more to come from this. But it looks like Team Bad is officially split. And Sasha's now getting that push that we've been looking forward to her for, for coming to NXT for a long time. What a surprise coming to us here tonight with the <laughs> Divas Championship match. I honestly think didn't think that Becky Lynch uh, versus Charlotte was anything to that right, right home about. And as soon as the match was over and Charlotte was, uh, you know, sort of soaking in her victory, Sasha Banks comes out for the back and uh, basically makes a statement, her first real statement on the WWE main roster since the Divas Revolution really began. Team Bad was sort of always in the background, sort of always a, um, you know, not really a main fixture. It was always about the Bellas uh, and Team PCB, and now that it looks like Charlotte has beat Paige, Charlotte has beat Becky Lynch, now Sasha Banks has come out, and it looked like she was almost sort of recreating uh, their... their um, stable that they had in NXT where basically they gave respect to each other and then Charlotte uh went to go uh basically leave and walk out of the ring and at this point um Sasha Banks came up behind her with a backcracker uh the good old Carlito finisher and uh was able to this to, to, uh, to place in her own submission of her own on Charlotte and it looks like Sasha Banks has stamped her name to be the next contender to go after the Divas Championship this is a really big step for Sasha. Basically, since being called up, she hasn't been able to, to, to do a whole lot of the main roster. But Sasha versus Charlotte has me uh, pretty fired up.